arrived. Um, Ahmed has already checked in. Um, the valet service has taken our bags in. So let me show you guys around the lobby area. So come along. So now is this uh, the only entrance to the hotel? No, this is like a main entrance. When if you come by car, this is the entrance. Um, obviously, um, if you're walking, then there's a harem entrance, which is upstairs. Um, that's around the other side of the hotel. I'll show you guys. Going upstairs now, um, and then that's the lobby area. I'll show you guys around there. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. So guys, there's like um, three um, main exits to this hotel or entrances as well. So the first exit where I just came from is uh, where you come by car. So when you first walk into the um, hotel, if you're coming by car, there's another exit which is on my left over here, which is a mall exit. Um, that's a lot quicker, but I will get into that later. And there's a third exit which is my road. That's where if you're coming by coaches. Yeah, so if you want to come by coaches and stuff, and that takes you by road to the Harem. Um, but the most quickest one is through the mall on my left. Um, um, it's all air conditioned and you don't have to walk through the street. There's not many people around you. And it roughly takes four to five minutes, depends on how fast you walk. But I put up a video, um, especially on how long it's going to take you from my hotel to Harem. Um, so that's pretty much about the exits, but the hotel, um, the, this facility is really good, like there's different exits, so it depends on you which exit you want to take. So let's go through the lobby and I'll show you different lifts because different lifts take you to different floors. Um, so I'll take you to my bedroom and I'll show you. Come. Oh, look at that. It's really busy right now. So when we, um, earlier, when we checked in, it was not this busy, but it is quite busy. So the reception area on your right. They got a total of So we take last set of lifts because we are on 42 floor. Um, and this is another exit I was talking about. This exit. Can I just quickly show? Yeah, um, this exit is the one which I was talking about uh, through the road at uh, Paris. Or if you come by coaches, it's a bit messy. Um, there's a lot of people coming up and down. But I would recommend taking the other route. It's but much more cleaner, there's more pollution as well. <laughs> and a lot more cars and stuff if you want to avoid the traffic. Otherwise, you can just walk straight and Haram is right in front of me. So every time I see Haram, I have such a different feeling. I just want to run there, but due to restrictions, it's quite hard to get in. So let's go back into the hotel room. Like you have to be vigilant when you're taking a lift because you can get lost. 
around the hotel. So this one goes up to 47, as I said. So there's another one which goes up to 12. P8. So we're going to P8. It says um, Al Road Restaurant and Tea Lounge. So that's where we have our breakfast every morning. Tarun takes us straight to the um, tea lounge or you know restaurant. Um, I'll take you guys with me how far the restaurant is. It's I think uh, within the hotel it's three minutes walk. It's yeah. walking slow. It's a huge hotel. These are the massage chairs. We came here earlier. I put up the video now, and um, they're very, very good. Quite uh, relaxing. So before Umrah or after Umrah, you can actually come down here and relax. So just follow me, guys. I'll show you. What I like about this hallway is when you walk into this restaurant, you can actually have a city view. So I see people standing around here and peeking outside. It's really cool. Um, obviously, this is not the Kabul view, this is the um, city view, but quite nice. Straight, we will, you know, have breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So, we're going in for breakfast. So, let's go. Get everything, please.
so guys now you have seen the tour of the hotel um i want to give you um my or our review of the hotel um first um before i start um let's just appreciate the view look how breathtaking it is um this is the view from my bedroom and i've been praying in my bedroom quite a lot as well um because it's such a privilege to sit down here and um pray um because when you go in the harem um you literally can't go near kaaba and the places where they uh, make you pray it's like it's hidden so it's i'll get um into all of that later but right now let's talk about the hotel so overall um the hotel is amazing from when you first enter the hotel from the lobby um they're very um how would i say they're very active in taking your luggage to your bedroom and they welcome you really nicely they're very friendly and then you go to the main uh, reception desk and you meet the uh, receptionist and i met um someone called shahad and she was amazing she was so friendly and she helped us in booking our bedroom um thank you shahad and um, i really appreciate all your help uh, i want to say thank you to mr ramin duty manager he was very courteous very welcoming and he made um our stay um very pleasant so thank you um team swiss hotel so like well, let's get into the actual review of the hotel so tell us first of all about the location um location is very close to harem um i would give it like 9 out of 10 because it's just 4 to 5 minutes walk depending on your uh, you know how fast you're going to walk um in terms of uh this obviously i showed in my video there's three different exits which exit you take but i think i love the location and especially when i have the location where i can have a view of a kaaba um it's just um for specially like it's amazing and I'm really appreciate it um so location wise I'll give it 9 out of 10 okay. um it's just the construction is going on so it takes slightly longer than usual times to get into harem okay great tell us about the rooms so rooms uh we got two rooms um we got one with a uh, king bed and one with two uh queen beds So the one with the king bed got the view of the Kaaba where I am sitting right now. Um overall I give this bedroom 8 out of 10 and even the other bedroom 8 out of 10. The reason why um the toilet is really tiny. The room is huge and it's really uh, spacious, but when you go in the toilet, it's really really tiny and if like two people can't stand in one bed. toilet at the time and uh, the shower area is really small so overall the uh, bedroom is uh, very modern the furniture is quite new and the bed is really comfy you got four sets of pillows you got extra pillows you if you ask them you get like you know you can get a, a spare duvet and a blanket um so um i think uh, the room is quite spacious um i really like the room uh, in terms of comfort level and then also um they gave you like they give you um a fridge they give you kettle and you know safe as well, safe yeah. as well and uh so all the things you would expect with a five star hotel are basically there yeah. um the only reason again that's lacking is just the bathroom size it could have been bigger compared to even Dar al Taqwa for example yeah the bathrooms were huge yeah it's it's slightly less spacious great lab so tell us about the service of the hotel um great service is actually great um when i walked into the room um the room was pretty clean and it looks like a five star room um whenever i asked for um you know house uh, in house cleaning they were you know they were coming straight away to clean the rooms and um they give us all the milk tea bags and everything so that's pretty cool um the only thing which was lacking um was uh, when i walked in there was uh, not enough amenities in the toilet but i called them and they sorted it out straight away i wanted some slippers got loads of slippers so that's um i think uh, they do go up to the mark of 5 star because they're very very helpful very very nice and polite so i'll give um you know the service um 9 out of 10 no, but so tell us about the breakfast because you had the bed and breakfast package so how was the breakfast the food and the service um so for me the breakfast was really good as soon as you walk in you see a lot of different cuisines literally and a lot of different stations with cold meals breads croissants um 
warm food and they also have a vegan section which is pretty cool for a hotel in Saudi Arabia I wasn't expecting that but that's really nice and uh, you'll see in the video that there's a vegan section um, they have different kind of fruits there they have different kinds of hot food like you know today we had chicken livers uh, which was pretty cool um, they also have um, like different kinds of breads so if you want bre brown bread or their own traditional bread they also have a station where they're making fresh falafel and they the way they serve it like really nice and tasty i actually look forward to eating that they also got a station where they're making fresh pancakes and they got like different sauces to go with it they have a section for juice fresh juice and uh, water which is like uh, vegetable and fruits infused water which is pretty cool um the only thing they're lacking is uh the selection of hot food um they could have had more hot food food rather than a lot of cold maize there's a big selection of cold maize and salads and cheese and um, i would have really appreciated if there was a bit more um uh, hot food uh, as uh, we had in darul taqwa we had parathas one day we had uh, noodles we had um fresh arabic parathas rice um, as well like fries uh, baked potatoes mm. so many things um what else um, rice sweet corn egg rice, fried rice egg yeah. fried rice um, so in this hotel, especially in breakfast, they lack, I don't know about lunch and dinner, but we went for the bread and breakfast um, package uh, for breakfast. The, the hot options are um, a bit less than Darul Taqwa if I'm comparing it with them. But overall, I'll give it 8 out of 10 for breakfast. Everything you expect is there. Um, but again, there could be more dishes. Yes, there could be more yeah. dishes. Uh, but the staff is really friendly. They serve you on your table with tea and um, I didn't ask for coffee, but tea. They bring you hot milk, hot water and they give you tea bags. So that's pretty nice. Um, and they're very quick in removing the you know dirty plates from the table, cleaning the table. And um, I think the vibe is really nice and it's not very loud in there. It's very um, like everyone is polite and doing their own thing. So um, if you want to relax and have a good breakfast, I would definitely recommend um, the breakfast. So Laba, tell us what's the final verdict? Um, so the final verdict is hotel is amazing, service is great, the location is great, it's only five minutes from Haram and the hotel itself is huge. Um, I have never stayed in a hotel this big in my life. It's actually very, very big. Um, staff is really friendly. If you need anything, they will just sort it out very quickly. Um, I would recommend this hotel to everyone and I will give it very strong 8.5 out of 10. Um, my overall stay was very pleasant, very, very nice, and I will definitely come back here. So guys, there's um, also other hotels around here. Um, if you want me to try other hotels, please um, let me know in the comments. Uh, but overall, um, thank you very much, Swiss Hotel Maka, for uh, my pleasant stay, for um, you know giving me this amazing experience. I thank all the staff members as well, and I will definitely come back here, and um, I have definitely um, enjoyed my stay i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below i will see you guys next time take care bye bye i love this